Okay, so we're trying to show the relationship 1 on F is equal to 1 on O plus 1 on I. Now, I've drawn a concave mirror here, and this is my principal axis, and this is my object. I've drawn a couple of rays coming from the object. The first one is going through the focal point, and we know that when a ray goes from an object through the focal point, then it's reflected parallel to the principal axis. So this blue line here is parallel to the principal axis. And I've drawn another ray coming from the object and going through the center of curvature. If it goes through the center of curvature, then it hits the mirror at right angles and is reflected back along the same line. Now let's just first of all start by dis, um, defining what F, O and I are in this diagram. O is the distance of the object from the mirror. So the distance from here to, to this mirror, that is O. I is the distance to the image, so it's this distance along here. And F is the distance to the focal point, so it's this length here. Okay, so we're going to use a few similar triangles for this one. Let's start by looking at this triangle here. And because this angle here is vertically opposite, we know that those two angles have to be equal. This angle in here is 90 degrees, as is this angle here. So what we've got here are two similar triangles. Okay, so let's call the height of the object HO and the height of the image HI. And now the distance from here to here, let's call this distance O minus C. If we let C be the distance to the center of curvature, and then the distance from here to here, this is distance I, so this is C minus I. So then using these two similar triangles, we can say that HO over HI is equal to O minus C over C minus I. Okay, so we've used one similar set of similar triangles to get these expressions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this triangle here and this triangle here. You can see that again we've got vertically opposite angles which are going to be equal and we'll draw a line vertically downwards from here. So that's 90 degrees in there. So we're going to be comparing these two triangles. We are going to need to make the assumption that this length down here is very small, which will allow us to use that little length there, which we can barely see in this diagram, but if we were choosing higher objects and getting a lot further away from the principal axis, then this would no longer work. Okay, so you can see these two triangles here are similar. There's one side which, sorry, one angle which is equal, the second angle which is equal is the 90 degrees, which means the third angle has to be equal, and so they are similar. Okay, so we'll, again, we have, um, can write an expression for HO over HI, because HI is the length from the principal axis to this blue line, which is exactly what this red line is here. So this red line has length HI. So we can write HO over HI is equal to, now in the long triangle we've got this length here, that's, that's F and this length is O. So this is O minus F. And HI, so now we're looking at this one here, and we've got this length along here, and that length is just F. Okay, so now we've got two equations that we can solve. 
One thing that we are going to have to use is we've used C here, which is the distance to the um, radius of curvature, but we've just shown that C is equal to 2F. So we'll need to substitute that in. Okay, so we can set this one equal to this one. So we've got O minus 2F over 2F minus I is equal to O minus F over F. And now we've got a fair amount of algebra to do. So let's cross multiply. So we've got OF is equal to, sorry. We've got OF minus 2F squared is equal to, we're multiplying this by this now. So we've got 2FO and then we've got minus IO. And then we've got um, minus 2f squared. And then we've got plus fi. Okay, so now the 2f squared occurs on both sides, so we can cancel those out. We've got an of here and 2fo here. So one of those will cancel out. So we've just got 1fo. Now what we're trying to get is f over one side. So let's move this IO to this side and then here we've got F outside of O plus I. So I can write this as F is equal to IO over O plus I. But what we're trying to get is an expression for 1 over F. So we can write 1 over F is equal to O plus I over O I. So that's equal to O over OI plus I over OI. So O over OI is just 1 over I, and I over I O is just plus 1 over O. So now we've shown that 1 over F is equal to 1 over I plus 1 over O, as long as this distance is very small.